Welcome to Crane Talk, powered by Link Belt Cranes, where we will focus on the people, places, and parts that truly make the difference. On this episode of Crane Talk, we spoke with Rick Jackson, a crane operator for Jordan Foster Construction with over 40 years of experience. Rick goes in depth about the versatility of Link Belt telecrawlers, particularly their value in pick and carry scenarios for bridge construction. We also take a look at construction of Link Belt telecrawlers here in Lexington built with a rugged undercarriage for the most challenging job sites. I started when I was about 20, and I ran tower cranes for my first, I don't know, 17 years. And then somehow or another, I got pulled into the concrete side of it. And this company's always had some type of crane that I've run. I just turned 64, so you can do the math. You know, it's coordination through both the operators. And I was one, and the guy I have down there, he's really a good operator too. You know, those beams were about 109 to 112,000. And running in, I believe it was AMAX 2, 60 foot of boom, you know, we were under that 75%. I had never seen six like that, but uh, picking and both carrying at the same time, I mean, it was pretty effortless. You know, good control, the cranes are stable. I don't, I don't know how you could do it, ask for anything more. And they saved us a ton of money. We were keeping them within a 25 foot radius when we were carrying. And then uh, when you get close to where you need to be, you probably end up at, by the time you got it on the cap, you know, you were probably about a 27 degree radius. We're fixing to start setting panels on the bridge and we're gonna be running 150 with the jib and every we're gonna be running with everything out. There were some tight spots. Some of them we would have to take the beam up and then we would swing it to where it goes off the truck so they could hook it up and just wait. And then when they would pull out, then we would swing back, pick it up, make our rotation, and then we would walk out in the road where the truck was. But then some of them we had to get on the opposite side of the truck and we would just pick it, pick it straight up and then walk it straight in after the truck left. When the beams were on us, we set 15 beams in uh, three and a half hours. We could set 30 beams in a day to get the beams, but the problem is just getting the truck. But we set 15 beams in three and a half hours. I mean, that was, you know, the trucks were coming, 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 nothing stopped. From start to finish, we never stopped. So that's pretty good. That's 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 equipment. And the winch speeds are great. You know, we were running uh, four-part blocks on it, and uh, I mean, naturally, you know, when you're when you're working something like that, you're not after speed. You know, you're after control and uh, getting it where it needs to go without hurting anybody. And uh, but the boom speeds are pretty good, uh, and the winch speeds are good, just for the stability standpoint. It's just it's really stable. If you screw up in that machine, it's because you screwed it up. It's, it's not the machine. I don't know how you could get a, a better machine. I mean, as far as stability, man, I, I don't know how you beat them. I really don't. Well, the track, they pull in easy and they scope back out easy. You got to get to a small area and then you can put them back out. That function is, is pretty, pretty fast. Man, I don't know, you could, you could ask for a better machine unless it was a bigger one. Hi, I'm Ryan Smalley. I'm the engineering manager of Off Highway New Product Design. But we're here to talk about the TCC undercarriages. And something we pride ourselves in and we spend a lot of time in the engineering on is making our undercarriages robust and built for duty. We know they're gonna lift 100% of chart, can pick and carry that, and we want that to last. We want it to last for years on any job site. Tele crawlers are put in rough conditions, so we look at the stresses that go into frame in those conditions. We look at the chart, we pick the chart everywhere we can, we strain gauge, and we analyze the stresses that go into the frame. So we want to ensure that our customers have a very robust design that they can count on for years in the field, no matter what the job site conditions are. Stay tuned for more stories on the next Crane Talk.